Father, thank you, God, the Son. Thank you, God, the Holy Spirit, for a new day. For a morning like this. For a morning like this, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you. We come before you. We come before you. Asking for your presence. Asking for your presence. Asking for your presence, my God. This is indeed a new day. We have not seen it before. It's indeed a new day that you have made that we shall rejoice and be glad. Lord God, we are praying this morning that whatever that will enable us to step into the mood of rejoicing, whatever that will enable us to step into the mood of being glad, Lord, we lift up our hands, asking that let it be given, let it be released unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. I lift up the viewers right now, those that have joined me right now in prayers, those that are still joining, those that are about to join, my God, I lift them up before you. This is time for morning devotion. Early will I seek thee is the word of God. I lift them up before you shake in our glory. You know what you want to do with them. I know you have great and mighty things for them. I know you're going to deal with them individually, separately. My God, as many as are joining this morning, as many as have joined this morning, my God, I pray, Lord God Almighty, you reach out to them. I pray, ancient of days, you minister to them. I pray, I am that I am. You reveal yourself to them. Do that which is due for you to do with them in this season. Let none of them be left behind. Lord God Almighty, may they never be left behind. May they not be left behind. I cover them by the blood. I cover them by the blood. I cover them by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, I bring them, O oh Lord, into your presence. Oh, this ministry is his presence ministries. My God, I pray that your hand will perpetually rest upon them. Grant them good health. Oh Lord, grant them good health. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved viewers, we celebrate you all. At least we were able to beat the night and we're now in a new day. Some of us were troubled last night. Maybe some of us were oppressed by demons. Maybe some of us had some kind of terrible dreams, horrible dreams. But the most important thing is that you are still alive. That's the most important thing. Some of us lost one or two things yesterday. Thank God that there was something called loss and you are able to encounter loss yesterday. You will also encounter restoration. Oh yes. Be happy that God, is, that God does not die. Be happy. God does not change. Be happy. He is known to be ancient of days. As old as he is, he changes not. But the question is this. Are you able to come? To God. Are you able to acknowledge Him? What we need is acknowledge God. You are woken up this morning is a good thing. You have been sick, but when you sleep, you wake up is a good thing. Only learn the lessons God wants you to learn. Maybe that sickness was as a result of disobedience. We thank God we are still alive. But I want to assure you that your situation can change for good. Your life can be a living testimony for so many others. Your experiences may be. The, the certifications you need in your life to, you know, at least to go to the next level, to shift, to encounter the hand of the Lord. You need to pass through some kind of issues in life. Was it not the Israelites, the son of God? Israelites are known to be the son of God. Yet they were in bondage. They were in captivity. But a day came when God put them out of captivity. I want to guarantee you and assure you that behold, all things will soon be passed away and all things will become what? We become new. You will be a new creature. Those that are in Christ Jesus, they are new creatures. What am I saying? Don't let your heart be troubled. You are alive. Give God all the glory. There are pains, there are situations, there are challenges. Let not your heart be troubled. Where are we going to look up to? We say, I'm going to look up to God. That's all we can do. But being alive is something that should enable us, that should empower us, that should allow us to give God all the glory. So I want to tell you today that you are alive already, you are blessed. That your life already have expectation. Let your expectation beat depression. Don't walk in depression. Don't say, Oh, I am depressed. Don't say, Who will help me? My God is the helper of men. God helps men. He has been helping men. He will also help you. In this situation, He will help you. And I want to tell you, your miracle is on the way. If you believe, shout Amen. If you believe, shout Amen. If you believe, shout Amen. Unto the Lord. Shall the gathering of his people be? We are gathering together unto him. Lift Jesus higher. Aye. 
Lift Jesus higher, lift him high for the world to see. He said, If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw men unto me. Lift Jesus higher, beloved. Live Jesus higher, my people. Live Jesus higher, beloved. Live Jesus higher, the people of God. Live Jesus higher. Oh, live Jesus higher. I say, live Jesus higher. Lift them high for the neighbors to see. Lift them high for the community to see. Lift them high for the city to see. Lift them high, lift them high, lift them high in this season of your life. If you lift them high, you will be exalted. If you lift them high, you will be blessed. If you lift them high, you will metamorphose into your new seasons. That's a prophetic word for somebody right now. If you lift them high, you will be metamorphosed into your new season. You may have been in pain. That's, that's okay. You may have been depressed. That's okay. You may have been passing through one challenge or the other. That's okay. Maybe series of attacks from the realms of the wicked world, from the demonic kingdom. That's okay. But I've come to tell you today. That the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. Are you able to pray? The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. It's no longer time to murmur. It's not time to complain. It's time for us to pray. Can we open up our mouth this morning and just give God thanks for a new day? Just thank Him. The Bible says, I will enter His gates with thanksgiving in my mouth. I will enter. Let's enter His gates this morning with thanksgiving in our mouth. My God will thank you for a new day. My God will bless you for a new day. My God will honor you for a new day. We honor you for a new day. We thank you for the life you have given unto us. I thank you for the life you have given unto the viewers. I thank you for the life you have given unto the viewers even right now. They are viewing right now. They are praying with us. They are praying, oh Lord. I thank you for the privilege you have given unto us to pray. For the same men ought always to pray and not to faint. I thank you, my God, for you have not denied us, oh Lord, the ability to pray. I thank you for you have come into your presence this morning with thanksgiving, saying, Thank you, God the Father. Thank you, God the Son. Thank you, God the Holy Spirit, for the new day, for the life you have given unto us. For we are breathing in the land of the living. We are alive. Many died yesterday. Many died last night. Many were rushed to the hospital this morning. But we are still alive. We are breathing. We are okay, my God. It is you. You alone have done it for us. You have done it for our families. The enemies thought we were not going to arise this morning. The enemies thought we were going to die last night. The enemies thought we were not going to talk this morning. The enemies thought that evil will rest upon our families. But God, it is not so. On that strength, we say thank you, God the Father. We say thank you, God the Son. We say thank you, God the Holy Spirit. For we know when Jesus was able to thank God, when he had a few loaves of bread and fishes, he thanked God and it multiplied. It multiplied. Father, we come thanking you this morning. For we know you are God. You are essence of days. You are God. Be that glorified this morning in our spirit, soul, and body, in our families. I thank you on behalf of our families. I thank you on behalf of our lives. I thank you on behalf of our ministries, on behalf of the ministers watching right now, on behalf of all of our businesses, our all, all what we do, our career, whatever we're doing. My God, I thank you. I give God the glory. Be that lifted, be that exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm excited this morning that God is going to bless someone today. Just being able to pray is what is going to attract your blessing. You have been in bondage, you will be set free. You will be set free. You have been in pain, pain will be rolled away. And you will know again that, wow, you are indeed, you are indeed the handmaid of God. You are indeed, the, the, you are indeed the, 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 the image, the image of the Father. He made it in his own image. So God himself is not even sick. God is not complaining. God is not, uh, is not having any challenge. So why should he be challenged? I've come to tell you this morning that this is our season. The topic of, of our devotion is breaking limits. And I declare over you, in this season, as much as I've been able to thank God in this season, you shall break limits in the name of Jesus. What does it take to break limits? The Bible must understand, according to Luke chapter number 1, verse 37, that which God all things are possible with God. All things are possible with my God. Everything is possible. It's not few things. It's not some things. But all things. What are you expecting? What do you want? It is possible with God. 
with God, all things are possible. In the days of the man called Paul, he said something that, that really energized me. He said something that really pleased me. He said something that really elevated me. I was so pleased. And let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter number 4, verses number 13. The book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses number 13. And I read, it says, I, this is Paul speaking, he said, I can do all things, not by my ability, not by my wisdom, not by my resources, not by the influence of my community, not through the states, not through the federal level, not through any man or woman. But he said, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. My God, do you have that Christ that Paul had? If you have him, you can do all things. Which Christ was he talking about? The Christ that died for you and I. The Christ that resurrected for you and I. The Christ that went to heaven and sat by the right hand of God for you and I. Representing you before God. He said he can do it all through him. I've come to tell him. Tell you today. Are you suffering? Forget about it. You can change that thing. Are you in pain? You can change it. You can do it. Paul did not say, oh, they can do it for him. He said himself can do it. I have come to tell you this morning, there are abilities in you. And by the reason of the abilities in you, you can break any and every limit before you. And this day is the day you must break limits in the name of Jesus. In the name of Moses, he was crying. He was crying unto the Lord without knowing that what it, it, took, it, it should take him to divide the rest of was in was in his hand. He was holding that staff. That he would have used to do what? To smite the sea. And it just part on his accord. He had it but he never knew. And he was crying. When he got to know that he had it. That was the time he was able to pass the Red Sea. And the thing parted. And they all did what? They moved and they passed through the Red Sea. And nothing happened. Nothing happened to them ever. I've come to tell you. What you need to do what? To, uh, to, to, to engage in the activities you need. To engage into and we are only seeing limitation today what you need to break the limitation and engage in those activities they are all in your hands paul said i can do it all and i've come to tell you today you can do it all i want us to pray if you are able to pray you will see results and you'll be amazed meanwhile i've come to tell you we have our prayer sessions on mondays and on thursdays our, our prayer line we pray on mondays on, on the thursdays on the thursdays yes mondays by 6 p.m to 7 p.m. Thursdays by 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. They, they will display the details or it's on Zoom. They're gonna detail, um, display it on the screen. Join us in prayers. God does many great things. He is still doing great and mighty things, and your own case will not be different. I want us to pray right now. Is there any obstruction before my way? Is there any hindrance before me? Let it be rolled away. Begin to pray for yourself right now. Every hindrance, every obstruction before me, before my family in this season, let it be rolled away. Begin to pray. My Lord and my God, I pray for this family right now. Oh my God, let the hindrances, let the obstructions, obstacles before them, let it be rolled away. My Lord and my God, you will spirit us understand it, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, that every knee shall bow. All those will confess that Jesus is Lord. You may also understand it, that when we call upon you, you will hear us. I am calling upon you right now, on behalf of this family, on behalf of as many as they, as they are watching me right now, and I'm declaring, is there any limitation? Is there any anything hindering them? Any kind of hindrance? Any kind of obstacle or obstruction before them? My God, let it be rolled away. I roll it away right now. I roll it away right now. Whatever causing limitation in their finances, in their lives, in their career, in their ministry, is it spiritually located or physically located? Mighty God, essence of this, I am the I am. I pray today, let it be rolled away. Let it be rolled away. I roll away it. I roll it away. I roll it away. I roll it away. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God, some of them are about to engage in some kind of activities. They are about to engage in some kind of things, in some kind of things they want to do. But my God, some of them are in fear. Right now, I rebuke the spirit of fear. Every spirit of fear that have come to molest you, that have come to deal with you, you spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus, out of these words, out of their lives, out of this family, out of this family, in the name of Jesus, I have come to announce to you, that God has not given you the spirit of fear. When you see the spirit of fear, no, it is the act, it is the ministry of the enemy. He has called to do what? To allow you 
to be depressed so so much so that you will not know the future again you will not know what the destiny god has spoken to you about is going to do for you and your family you no longer you no longer pay attention to your destiny you no longer pay attention to the vision why because of depression the time you should be able to pay to your destiny to your to your uh, vision you are not paying it to your depression i pray for you every depression working in your life out of your life in the name of jesus begin to resist depression begin to rebuke depression it has not come for your own good are you under the sound of my voice you are talking about depression i want to tell you it's the tool of the enemy he uses it to do what to blindfold men he used depression to make men not to know their destiny to make men not to walk in their purpose to make men not to acknowledge their vision anymore depression is an evil tool of the enemy begin to rebuke depression in your family in your life you will never be depressed in the name of jesus my lord and my god i pray for this one right now anyone under depression you depression i rebuke you in the name of jesus i rebuke depression in your life in your family in whatever you're doing i reject depression that shall be no depression in the name of jesus may i tell you this truth depression is simply the absence of grace i want to pray for grace begin to pray that the grace of god will rest upon you begin to pray for grace begin to pray for grace right now my god my god i pray i stand for my hands to Watch this family right now and I release the grace of God. I release the grace of God. I release God's grace upon this family. My Jehovah, essence of days, I am that I am. Let your grace, let your grace begin to locate them. Begin to locate them. Those of them becoming wicked, becoming depressed day by day. My God, I release grace upon them. I release grace upon them. Let this grace begin to de begin to deal with depressions in their life. Let this grace begin to subdue fear in their life. Let this grace begin to give them boldness let them regenerate them in the name of jesus i speak grace i speak grace i speak grace i speak grace over your finances over your family over your children over your husbands over your young wives over your people i speak grace upon your family in the name of jesus you must break limit in this is in the mighty name of jesus we have to pray right now the, the, the word of God is making me to understand that there are people that are looking for a job in this season. They are looking for a job in this season. In beautiful places. In a place that when they offer the job, their life will change financially, financially. And then they will be able to balance and do what they want to do. Let us pray for those looking for a job in this season. That God will give them good jobs. That God will give them good jobs that will make their day to be fulfilled. That will make them to do what? To work in their purposes and accomplish dreams. My Lord, my God, ask Step up my hands towards these ones that are in search of job. Towards these ones looking for job. They are going to go for interview in this season. My Lord and my God, I declare over that interview, they shall never fail. They will never fail their interview. They will never fail their interview. In the name of Jesus, who will will arise against them in the place of interview. My Lord and my God, such a people, such a one, will never appear. Will never be there. In the name of Jesus, check in and glory. Grant them favor. Let their presence go before them. Let let your presence go before them that are going to look for a job in this season. As well as are looking for a job in this season, I prophetically speak right now. You, are really, you have received your job. You have received your job. Go and get your job. Go and get your job. Do not be afraid. God has made the way for you. I am declaring right now. God has made the way for you. Go out today. Go for your job. And when you receive it, it's not a point to call and testify. When you receive it, give God all the glory. Go to your church and celebrate it and help the church. Help your family and do that which is Needful. I have come to remind you in the days of matter, the Bible must understand that matter was the one that opened the door for Jesus to come in. When she opened the door, Jesus walked in. And the one called Mary was able to see Jesus. When Mary saw Jesus, she went to Jesus and began to have to interact and began to interact with Jesus and sat at the feet of Jesus. She engaged herself in the activities of Jesus. But the matter that opened the door was not there with Jesus. She opened the door, Jesus came in and she departed. She disengaged herself in the activities of the Lord. I come to tell you, even as you get this job you are looking for, do not disengage yourself from the activities of God. Do not disengage yourself and say, oh, I have no time. Don't say that. One thing is needful. That was what Jesus told Martha. When Martha disengaged herself in the activities of Jesus, and she began to complain. She disengaged herself. She was the one that was also angry. She was the one that was complaining.
And the person that engaged herself by name Mary was not complaining, was not angry, was not a, a bias. She was okay. The one that disengaged herself began to complain to Jesus. I said, Jesus, do you not care that my sister Mary should come and help me? And Jesus said unto her, Oh, matter, matter. You are troubled about so many things. Why am I saying this? Some of you will be blessed in greater dimension. Don't let your blessing be a reason for you to do what? For you to dis. To, to, to disengage yourself for you to distract yourself from what God wants you to do one thing is meaningful I have prayed and I believe that miracle jobs are coming your way I have prayed and I believe that this season you shall be lifted even those of us in our various offices that are looking for work for promotion I speak promotion I release your promotion to you your promotion letters it is released today in the name of Jesus you are receiving your promotion letters in the name of Jesus this same matter was troubled I come to tell you do not be troubled when God leaves you, He has done that for a purpose. When God blesses you, He has done that for a purpose. Be a blessing to others, but do not disengage yourself from what God has for you. Do not disengage yourself from what God is doing. Do not disengage yourself from what God has planned for you. Martha did that, and Jesus said unto her, Martha, Martha, one thing is needful. One thing is needful. I pray for you right now, one more time. As you get this job, you shall be favored. As you get this job, you shall be favored. I want to cancel accidents. Let's pray and cancel any and every form of accident, be it domestic accident or otherwise. Begin to pray. Begin to pray against accidents. In this season, the Bible said, our going out shall be blessings. Our coming in shall be blessings. It is not that it shall be an accident. No, no, no. There shall be no accident in your way. Begin to destroy. Begin to cancel every and any form of accident. My Lord and my God, I stretch up my hands towards this family right now. As well as I got embarking on a journey, my God, I am declaring there shall be no accident. There shall be no accident. I pray for someone right now that the enemy has proposed accident for you. I am declaring right now from the throne of heavens that that accident is cancelled in the name of Jesus. That accident is cancelled. Are you going to drive this morning? Please, when you come out of your house, Check your car, check your tires, check your tires, make sure your tires are in place, check your tires, check your vehicle, start your engine, listen to the sound and know if the vehicle is okay for your for your for your journey. If it's not okay, look for option B. And I want to pray for someone right now. May God grant you, may God grant you access wherever you are going. May God grant you access into that place in the name of Jesus. There shall be no obstacle, there shall be no obstruction. Your doing it shall be blessings unto you and your family. Your coming in shall be blessings unto you and your family in the name of Jesus I cancel every form of accident any and any kind of accident that the enemy has prepared has programmed for you in this season I cancel it in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Spirit the Lord is leading us to pray right now is there anyone whose blessing is due and the enemy is holding it the enemy is holding it because of his position, because of wanting to daughter, begin to pray that the hand of the enemy over your family shall wither. Begin to pray that the hand of the enemy over your family shall wither in this season. My Lord and my God, I declare right now, any hand of the enemy working in the lives of these ones, in their families, in their finances, in their families, in their marriages, in their career, in their business, in their school, in their finances, in their ministry, let the hand of the enemy begin to wither. Let the hand of the enemy begin to wither. Any any hand of the enemy withholding their blessings, let that hand wither, let that hand wither in the name of Jesus, let that hand wither in the name of Jesus, whatever hand that have held your promotion, that have held your blessings, that have held your joy for a long time, for a short period of time, let that hand wither in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I hear the sound of abundance of rain upon somebody's family, I hear the sound of abundance of rain and I declare I pray and I declare that there is abundance of rain coming your way. Let it rain. Let it rain. Let it rain. That sign of abundance of rain, I call it forth in your family. It's a rain of blessing. It's a rain of testimony. A rain of joy. A rain of elevation. A rain of promotion. I call it forth. A rain of blessing. I call it forth upon your family. Your time is due. Your season is now. You are breaking limits. All the limitations that the enemy has programmed for you. In the name of Jesus, it is all broken. In the name of Jesus, it is all broken. In the name of Jesus, it is all broken. You are breaking limits. You are receiving promotion. You are receiving a new a, a, a new offer of appointment letters. You are receiving good things in this season. In the name of Jesus. There are people even now praying that what they need is the presence of God. The ability to interact with God. That what they want is God. 
Oh, I heard this song again. I want more of you. Sina sang a song. She said, I want more of you. The more I know you, the more I get you, the more I see you, the more I know you, the more I want to know, the more I want to know. Some of you are praying to know God more, to know God more, and to know God better. I want to pray for somebody right now. Are you that one that wants to know God more? Are you that one that wants to do what God wants you to do? Are you that one that desires the counsel of the Father, that wants to walk in righteousness, that wants to be perfect because God said, be you perfect. That's the com that's what Jesus was able to communicate to the people. He said, be you perfect, even as your heavenly Father is perfect. Are you that one that desires holy, holy living, to be holy, to be righteous? I want to pray over you right now. These are the ones that need the touch of the Father. This is the prayer we need. I want prayers like this because God wants you to be righteous. God wants you to be holy. God wants you to be perfect. But it's unfortunate. People have been able to proclaim that they are all sinners. That no, uh, that no one, that everyone is a sinner. I've come to submit to you that everybody is not a sinner. And you are not expected to be a sinner. The first man, Adam, came. He was a sinner. The second man, the second Adam came. That was Jesus. Jesus was not a sinner. He was the one that was perfect. We are expected to do what? To mirror his ways and do it do that which has been able to do and conquer the enemy i pray for you that desires righteousness that desires holiness to have the ability to interact with god to have fellowship with god my lord and my god i pray for your hand upon this ones right now they desire to know you they want to serve you in truth and in the spirit my god rest your hand upon them rest your hand upon them rest your hand upon them in the name of jesus rest your hand upon them furnish them lord with conviction sir, that no enemy will take away from them my god release your hand upon them i ask you in the glory that from this season let oh god almighty a fellowship and uninterrupted fellowship be granted unto them my god bring them forth to your presence bring them into your presence release yourself unto them jehovah lay ancient of days i am that i am release yourself unto your people they desire to serve you they want to know you they want to know more of you they desire to love you they desire to interact with you jehovah you know them i step up my hands to what right now receive the grace receive the grace some of you you need to walk under anointing i release anointing upon you some of you you need to have knowledge of god i pray that in this season god will furnish you with a greater knowledge in the name of jesus my god i bring them before you i bring them before you i bring them before you empower them empower them encourage them encourage them release the word unto them release the word unto them i've come to tell you that the word of god is here and amen the word of god the bible said that heaven and earth can pass away but the word of god will never pass away you say a good day and i pray that even in your dreams god will speak to you even in your dreams may god speak to you may god speak to you may god interact with you in the name of jesus i activate this season for you it is a season of encounters it is a season of what of revelation you will see revelations and you begin to walk in revelations in the name of jesus may god bless you beyond your expectation may god bless you beyond your expectation in jesus mighty name we pray peace be still my god we thank you